Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, I shared some of these uh, effects I did uh, on my Twitter and a lot of people request uh, a tutorial. You can see here the same effect on a plane. Here with more objects Okay, let's see how this works. We have um, the object coordinate that you probably already know that um, has a vector that is based on the on the object's origin and faces. Uh, towards the normal of the of the that face and we have the incoming that is a vector that is always pointing at the viewer so when we combine them we are subtracting one we get when we move the view the difference between them becomes what we the effect we we see here if they are if we are seeing uh, straight at, at at it they are at the same uh, angle and there's nothing happening but as you move it will change so then we are using a, a multiply to make the the difference uh, even bigger greater uh, that that's what we use as a parallax power. That means the the parallax effect is great. Uh, it's uh, increased when we use a negative number, or instead of subtracting, we add. Uh, the the effect is the opposite. So the object looks like it is in front of the of the plane, and if we use uh, subtract. It is like it is on the on the back because it moves uh, to the same side as as you move like this. It moves to this side, and if we change this, you will see that when we move to this side, it goes the other way. It's like it is closer than the than the plane. It is more obvious when we have more than one object. I will show you in a bit. The zoom is basically uh, scaling the, the the entire the mapping to make the the image we are using uh, bigger because we when we multiply the incoming vector it becomes uh, smaller and you can adjust with the, with the scale when you have uh, objects that are using more parallax in on the subtract uh, method you should make them look uh, smaller of course and with the add that are in front uh, closer uh, well you scale them up a bit you can also change because i'm not sure about the limit i set so you can for example, the sum maximum is one, but you can change this to whatever you want. Then on the mapping, we are doing some adjustments that are based on the difference of the the two coordinates to center the texture or whatever. But uh, that's it. And <coughs> I will show you also something that I have been working on that is based on this this difference because that gives us uh, the angle basically of uh, of view and we can for example change the height map of a, of an object based on the on the angle we are we are seeing it and i will show you what what i have so far 
here I just did the same thing with different values for each each of the the parts. As you can see, I'm using always subtract, but I'm using negative values for the the ones that I'm are in front and positive values for the ones that are on, are on the back. The same uh, principle used here, where we, we can see the, the height map of this object here. It's, its uh, height is almost uh, nothing, and as we change the view, it starts growing during the illusion of uh, volume that it doesn't have because it is a plane. So this one has uh, just the, the maps, but uh, has no parallax. Um, well, this one is using it. So you can download the file on my Gumroad to for free, of course, to check it and use it and whatever. For this uh, file, I will probably I'm still working on it so probably I will make another tutorial when it's finished and well for now it's just experimental